Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session on the 19th of October 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening in markets today. And it is an interesting one. We saw last night a week session in the US, broad based selling on continued concerns about bond yields rising again, the Middle Eastern conflict, and uncertainty about how much that's going to escalate, and reported revenue levels from some of the earnings despite. Over 75% of companies reporting so far beating EPS. Netflix had a positive session after the bell, after reporting earnings, but generally speaking, we're not seeing that reflected in US futures significantly. They're pretty near neutral, perhaps slightly to the upside in early Asian trading. But Asian markets are following that weekly from Wall Street. The ASX is not having a good day at the office. It's down around 1.3% as we record this. And this was, despite some jobs data, which was sort of OK, the headline number rose a little bit. The VIX moved higher again to the top of the short term range on those concerns and European futures are pointing to a weaker open at this stage. The US dollar index was a beneficiary of those higher bond deals, not surprisingly. But despite this, gold eked out small gains and challenges 1950, which is a key level, which was sort of interesting. Other commodities did okay as well. Copper paused above support and oil is testing short-term resistance as we've been talking about for the last few days. Bitcoin has paused around 28,600 after the move higher earlier and earnings will obviously still be in focus. We'll ramp up significantly next week but there is many companies reporting on the next couple of days. Uh, Australian jobs as we said missed expectation though the headline percentage was positive. US weekly jobs manufacturing and the Fed chairman Jerome Powell speaking later could mean another interesting session on Wall Street tonight. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. With slim pickings on the ASX today, the gold stocks are outperforming. And Northern Star Resources that we've talked about before have created this long-term double bottom formation, which looks very compelling. It's up around 11.94 as we speak. Perhaps worth waiting just a little while longer we see this level at around about 12.04, which looks an important level prior to this uh, drop we saw in July. Uh, so maybe waiting until we get a breach of 12.05 would be prudent. And the upside on this is fairly significant. Could see us back up to $13 in the short term if we see continued buying into gold. Uh, the Aussie Swiss franc caught our eye this morning on the back of that jobs report. We are seeing weakness in the Australian dollar. We look at this four hour chart and we can see there there is a potential level of interest at around about 56.60. This was tested back earlier in the week as well as in early September. So a breach of this could precipitate some selling, possibly down 60 pips to test 56. If we're looking at a 30 minute chart. You can see we've had one candle which has done that. Uh, so we need to be patient. There is a potential scalp and opportunity here as well down to that 56.60 level. We think that 56.60 is a high probability trade if it breaks to the downside. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.